So for problem number 47, we're given the series here, and we're asked to determine whether um, the series is convergent or divergent by expressing it as a telescoping sum. So what we're going to do here is we're going to expand it, and maybe let's expand it up to n is equal to 3 to see what happens. So the first value that we're going to plug in is n is equal to 1. So we're going to have e to the power of 1 divided by 1, so e to the power of 1, minus um, e to the power of 1 divided by n plus 1. So 1 divided by 1 plus 1, 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2. So this here is the situation where n is equal to 1. Now let's do with n is equal to 2. So if n is equal to 2, now we're going to add plus we plug in n is equal to 2 here, so e to the power of 1 over 2, 1 over 2, and then minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1, so minus e to the 1 divided by 2 plus 1, 3. So this is the situation where n is equal to 2, and now let's do n is equal to 3. So for n is equal to 3, we add plus 1 divided by n, so plus 1 divided by 3 in the numerator, and then um, sorry, in the power, and then minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1, so minus 1 divided by 4, so minus e to the 1 divided by 4. So this is the situation here where n is equal to 3, and we can see a very clear pattern with what happens. So this minus e to the 1 half plus e to the 1 half, these two cancel out, and then minus e to the 1 third plus e to the 1 third, these two cancels out, and we're just left with the last term. And since n is equal to 3, the last term is actually going to be minus e um, to the power of 1 over n plus 1, which is this guy here. So we can see um, that whenever we expand this, all we're going to be left with is the first term and then the very last one. So let's expand this up to n is equal to 4 just to see if that pattern holds. So if I do plus n is equal to 4, here I go plus 1 over um, 4, so e 1 over 4, and then minus 1 divided by uh, 4 plus 1, so 1 divided by 5, and we can see that this also holds, right? These two are going to cancel out, and we're just left with the very last one. So what this means here is that our sum, so our sum from n is equal to 1 to infinity of e to 1 over n minus e to the 1 over n plus 1, this whole thing can be described as just e to the first, which is the first term that we have, and then everything gets canceled out, and then we just have the very last term, which doesn't cancel out. But since that very last term, it depends on what n actually is, so we have to express it as a variable. Because if I say, oh, the very last term is when n is equal to 4, that's not true, because I want to sum it up infinitely. So the very last term is just going to be minus e to the 1 over n plus 1, um, whatever the value of n is, right? So we have been able to simplify this whole thing by realizing that it's just the very first term that stays and then the very last term. So once we have this, we are now ready to take our sum. Now, because we're doing when n goes to infinity, we can't just plug in infinity. We have to take the limit, right? So this is going to be the this whole sum is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the 1 minus e to the 1 over n plus 1. And if we take this limit, well, what we're actually going to get here, so let me zoom that out, what we're actually going to get here is, <clears throat> well, this, the limit of e to the 1 is just e by itself, it doesn't change, minus e to the 1 divided by infinity. Well, that limit, 1 divided by infinity, it goes to 0. So it goes, it's going to be minus e to the power of 1 divided by infinity, so e to the power of 0. And remember that e to the power of 0 is just 1, so the answer is going to be e minus 1. So that is it for problem number 47 <clears throat> um, by expanding it. And we, we were able to see the pattern that every single term <coughs> excuse me, every single term is going to cancel except the first one and the very last one. So once we were able to simplify it to this, all we had to do here was just plug in, um, sorry, take the limit as n goes to infinity for that second term, and then we get e minus 1.